Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make salsa. So as you know, there are so many different ways to make it. And I've tried quite a few and this is actually my favorite because uh, it, I think it tastes the best. So uh, I'm going to show you all of the ingredients and then show you how to make it. It's very, very easy and you can do this in about less than 15 minutes. So here, I just did this batch here. I just completed a while ago and it is nice and tasty very very nice aroma a beautiful sauce good for chips uh, good for basically anything um, I love it on eggs in the morning so I'm going to list the ingredients out and then I will also list it in the description so you can check there as well the first item you will need is going to be hot peppers and I find that fatalis are one of the best for the making these kind of uh, salsa uh, if you don't have fatali, you can also use scotch bonnet, Bahamian goats, or even the um, uh, the hotter varieties of uh, like the seven pot. Habaneros will work as well. Those are great. So uh, you can use the really, really hot one if you like. Um, for me, a lot of the people in my family, we like it uh, sort of like a mild sauce. So the fatali is the favorite of ours. You're going to need about six to eight um, large fatali peppers or, or any other hot peppers. The next item you're going to need is uh, garlic. And garlic is actually one of the main ingredients in this uh, salsa method. So I use about six to eight cloves of this. Um, if you like less garlic, you can use less, but um, six to eight, uh, depending on how large they are, is um, uh, the amount that I use. Okay, then you'll need uh, a handful of cilantro, uh, this much here. Uh, you know, there, there's really a, not a measurement for these, but about this much is enough. So uh, just judge on yourself. If you like more cilantro, you can add more. If you like less, then use less, but this is usually around the same amount that I use. Okay, and then the next ingredients, which is also very, very important, is the culantro. And this is a very a tropical um, herb, and you can find this at any Asian supermarket. They're, they're pretty cheap. You can buy a bunch of this for like a, a, a less than $2. And you will need about six of these leaves. They're not very big. You're going to need half of a, a bell pepper, a large bell pepper. You need half of a lemon. If you don't have lemon, you can use lime. And some green onion, just one of this is enough. One Roma tomato. We're going to cut this out and take the seeds out. So you need one uh, of this. And the, this here is a shallot, I think. Uh, it's like one of those onions. So you need one of this. One teaspoon of sugar. Any kind of sugar you like to use and also one teaspoon of salt. And then the last ingredients is some white vinegar and you will need um, three fourths of a cup. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is add all of the ingredients into our blender. And I don't have a blender, all I have is a Nutribullet, so that's what I'm gonna use. And as you can see, I have already done one batch and now this is the second one. Uh, I have already added the peppers garlic and the shallot so I'm going to add the rest it doesn't matter what order you put it here's the culantro and culantro is one of the main ingredients in this besides the garlic because this one here will give you a nice tropical flavor it's our green onions cilantro this is our bell pepper and the bell pepper is basically like a base and it gives the sauce texture, sweetness and a, a lot of liquid. Here's our tomato. The seeds have been taken out and if you forgot tomato, it's fine. The peppers will work in its place and our lime, lemon, you squeeze it in. And our sugar, one teaspoon. And then the salt, same amount, one teaspoon. And then here's our vinegar. We need three fourths of a cup. This is a half. Uh, 
Okay, that is all of the ingredients. So we'll close this up and then we're going to blend this all up. Now the Nutribullet can crush these things very finely so you want to do it slowly. You want chunks instead of everything so fine. So uh, what I do is slowly crush it like that and then shake it up a little bit. And this also helps disperse the salt and the sugar as well. And that should be around good. See, that is the consistency that I like. So, we're all set. Now let's put that into our jar. Here's what I have made a while ago. Alright guys, that is it. We're all done. Look at how beautiful this is. It smells amazing and it tastes very nice as well. So uh, let's give this a taste so I can tell you how good this is. Alright guys, here it is. The finished product. Man, that looks so nice and tasty. So we are going to take some out. Okay, that is the finished product there and we are going to put some in here and taste it. And if you leave this for another day, the, all of the flavor would soak in and it would be much nicer and better. So there it is here, that is the texture. Alright guys, here it is, the finished salsa and Man, it smells amazing. It smells hot, full of these tropical flavor in there. So, um, it has very nice texture because uh, we didn't crush it up finely. So this is great for uh, eating with your eggs in the morning, breakfast, uh, put it uh, on your chips, so, you know, use that. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff that I use for this, but I, I basically eat it every day because it's really, really good. And I brought these to work and gave it to a few friends. They also like it a lot. So uh, I highly recommend making this. It's very easy. Uh, just get all the ingredients prepared and it will take you about five minutes to make. So uh, let's give it a taste. Wow, so, so good. The Fatali pepper has a very very good um, uh, sort of like um, it has really good heat and uh, the flavor is really really nice it's, it's similar to some of the uh, uh, Caribbean peppers uh, very similar to the jalapeno as well I mean jalapeno but um, the habanero so um, I really love um, Fortali in uh, this type of salsa but as I mentioned earlier, you can use scotch bonnet. Scotch bonnet is a little bit sweeter, so the, the flavor may change a little bit. Uh, I think habanero may be great. I haven't used habanero yet because I didn't grow any this year. So uh, when, you, when you eat these, um, the salsa, you taste the vinegar immediately because we use quite a bit of it. But the vinegar with all the ingredients mixed in, it doesn't taste like vinegar anymore. So it, it tastes like limey, tropical. Uh, you can taste the culantro because culantro are very, very um, aromatic and very flavorful in a way. It tastes very tropical. And you can definitely tell there's garlic in there. I love the garlic, so I, I use uh, a lot. Uh, six to eight cloves because that ingredients with all of this just brings out everything in the flavor and the heat um, very very good heat but it's manageable heat um, people that don't eat peppers op often they may think that it's really really hot but <laughs> for me I, I eat fatalis like all season and other other super hot as well so 
my my tongue is getting very adjusted so I can handle it a little bit more but it's still very hot it will bring sweat out of you so um, very easy to make and uh, just the ingredients is what you need make sure you have culantro because it does change the flavor of uh, the salsa and um, that's it guys I, I hope you try it out and uh, uh, let me know what you think uh, once you do and I think I listed some of the ingredients on Pepper Lovers uh, community so you can go check there as well so uh, join Pepper Lovers uh, and uh, uh, find out some of the more ways to uh, to use your your peppers anyway thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video please comment 